Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about adding and deleting objects from your scene and from your layers here. So you should still have your Suzanne monkey here. And what we want to do is delete it. So there's a few different ways you can do that. And really, you can kind of pick which way you like the best. Uh, I usually just hit X on the keyboard and it'll bring up this little dialogue. Hey, are you sure you want to delete it? Is that okay? And we can say yes to delete it. That's a kind of a two-step process. You can also come over to your layers and right click it and delete it. Or you could just hover over it and hit X and that will just take it away. So that is how you delete objects in Blender. Uh, so everybody try that. Just go ahead and see if you can get your Suzanne to disappear. And now we're going to show you how to add objects. So to add objects is a little bit different, um, but we want to first make sure we're on our flexible design. So go ahead and click on your flexible design uh, collection there, kind of like a folder. And what we're saying is Blender, we want whatever we're about to create to land and appear in this collection. And so now let's go to our 3D viewport and we're going to add an object. And there's many ways to do that as well. You can click on this add button and you'll get, you can add meshes like circles and spheres and uh, cylinders and donuts and monkeys and all kinds of things. You can add curves, surfaces, metaballs, this is text, you know, there's all kinds of things you can add. And we're going to go into a lot of these, but there's just so much to do. And that's what's so powerful about this software. It's going to give you a lot of new ideas in your designs. So really the challenge is I want everyone to add a monkey back to their scene. So go ahead and find the monkey on this drop down and add the monkey. So this is one way we could add objects, but I want you to get into the habit of just pressing shift a because it's kind of think of it like shift add like i want to add something so shift a to add and you're going to use this a lot in blender when you're in doing different workflows but uh, shift a will bring down essentially the same little drop down but right to where you are so you don't have to always go up here and fiddle around with this you can just be in the zone creating things and then shift a bam and then now you're like bringing in stuff so that's why i want to show you these little shortcuts that are also on your pdf but let's enough of me yabbering let's go ahead and add a monkey so shift a add a monkey and notice it's really 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 tiny it's itty bitty and it uh there should be a little drop down that is appeared like a little um twiddling box right here if you don't see it you can hit f9 like say if it's not there you can hit f9 and that will bring it back in kind of like a floating box type thing that's a very uh fun tip for y'all um but the size, we want to make this maybe like 50 millimeters. But since you have the PTT starter file, you can just type in 50 and it's going to just be automatically in millimeters. And now we've got a 50 millimeter monkey that we can design with. So I'm going to turn off my, my background here. Uh, you can just click on here, click on the eyeball. What I usually do is just click on it and hit H. And that will hide anything that you have selected. So I use that a lot. And now we've got this little monkey head here. And that is how you add objects and how you delete objects. And it's I kind of like to keep the monkey red. So make sure you have your monkey selected. And down in this little tab here, we're going to add a color to our monkey. So just click on this little beach ball. <laughs> it's the materials property if you hover over it. And you want to use, you should have uh, some materials here that I've made for you, but just use this red. And look at there, we got a little red monkey, or you can change you know, the color to any color you want your monkey to be. I like using the red. It's part of our company colors. And yeah, you, that's all you got to do. You can even you know, change the name to whatever color you change it to. And that's that, folks. That is how you add and delete objects inside of Blender. We're going to be doing this a lot, so you're going to get a lot of practice with this, but I just want to kind of give you a slow, cr slow-ish crash course on how to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to talk about grabbing, rotating, and scaling our actual objects. We already know how to do it for the view and the viewport, but we need to know how to move and groove and scale and stretch and do crazy things to our objects. So let's go ahead and dive on into the next video.